So I'm going to start off with the front of the boat and we'll work our way down. To begin with, in this front section here is the water tank and we fill that up with this. If we open up this, you could get leaves or other things flying into it so it's much better to just use this and all we do there is under here we have a basket and we provide a hose pipe for you. This is the key and you just take the long flat edge and that goes in there and untwist. It opens one end of the hose pipe in the hole, the other end of the hose pipe on any of the taps along the canal, which we'll point out to you when you get here. Obviously to tighten up again, you use this, screw it back up, and then they all just go in here and they store nicely just there. On this side, we've got the mooring equipment. So you've got the two chains and you've got the stakes and the hammer as well, which will show you how that works when you get here. Underneath here, you just lift this up and we've got logs and kindling that we provide for you for with the fire inside. And just under here, there's an ash bucket. So obviously to empty out the fire if there is a lot of ash in there after you've used it. And then to get in, we have the long silver key on this chain and that opens the main lock to the door, which is just under this here. That goes in there, you turn and then it's just turned here. We do ask that you pin back the doors just in case it is a bit breezy and it stops them from crashing around. Then for the second door, we use this star key here, which has got the blue end, and that just goes behind the door into the hole, turn, and then again, we open this door and pin this one back as well for the same reason. And then we go on in. So when you first enter the boat, you do have the option to have a table up. This is a two person job and all you do is it's going to be stored underneath this seat along here so you can just lift that out and it's a two person job and all that it takes is two legs underneath here they just slot into the floor in the holes provided and then this tabletop just rests on top like that it does also double up as a double bed if that's what you prefer and all it is is the tabletop comes off you can remove the legs and the tabletop just sits in between these two sofas and there's an extra couple of pieces of wood which elongate it into a double bed. Okay. Here it is as a double bed and all you need to do is just slide the cushions across and utilise those to make a nice comfortable bed for yourself. Um, if you do require it as a double bed we will provide extra bedding for you and that will be further along the boat in the fixed bed area. So here we have the gas cooker and how this works is turn one of the knobs, hold it in, put the flame to it, hold it down for a couple of seconds just to make sure, let go, and there you have it, and to turn it off, just turn the knob and it will go off. You also use this to light the grill and the main oven as well, exactly the same way. Moving along a little bit, we have the sink area. We do ask if you are chopping any vegetables or anything that you want to chop, we use this as the chopping board, you slide it back, and there we have the sink just underneath here. We do also ask as well, if you are washing up, that you get the draining board and you just hang it over the edge of the sink like this, it'll drop di directly into there and then it doesn't interfere with any of the work surfaces. When I turn around, you'll see the hatch doors at the side and how these work. You just untwist each side until they're nice and loose. And then these two both go in at the same time. You lift up and just let them drop and they'll just stand like that. And then you can just slowly push the doors open. And there you have it. And then to close, you just do everything in reverse. So the doors come first. This lifts up and you just bring these two in. Lower it down, go back in and then you just screw them up again tighten it back up and that's that done so here we are in the bedroom section and um, I'll just show you we have these circular cushion pads and they go in these windows just here for at night time or if you just want to block some light out it's up to you just leave those there for you behind me is the shower slash toilet section and I must tell you before we go in there that located just here we have a shower pump and you must remember to pull it outwards like this um, before you get in the shower and it drains the water out of the boat you listen for that noise and that tells you that it's working when your shower's finished just push it back in and that's it turned off 
The shower is located just behind this door as well as the toilet. There we go. And I'll just quickly show you when you are using the toilet, it is a cassette affair. And there's a little handle just under here, which you slide backwards like this. That opens the hatch inside the toilet. You go about your business. And then just on this side here, there's a little blue button you'll see. You press that and it's just a rinse. It rinses the toilet out for you. There is also a red light that will come on if the cassette is full. Once it's rinsed, you just go back under here, slide that back across, and that's it closed for you. There's the shower just behind me as well. Marvelous. And I'll now just show you how to take the cassette out once it does get full from the toilet. It's located just down here in this little cupboard and all you need to do, open it up like this, make sure that the hatch is closed from the toilet otherwise it won't slide out and then you'll just see if you if you when you look under here it's just a small yellow handle and if you lift that upwards and it just slides out like that when you want to empty it all you need to do is turn this part up unscrew the top and then it'll empty out that way and we'll show you on the map all the places where you need to empty it out at and then to put it back it just slides on back in again give it a good push and it'll be in close that and that's that job finish also once that is all done we do provide you with these blue tabs so what you do again you just open the hatch in the toilet take one of these don't rip it open or you'll end up covered in blue powder and just drop it in there as though it's a tea bag and that will keep it all nice and clean just close the hatch and that'll be done they look just up there now we're going to go towards the back of the boat and in order to do that we need to take these steps that are just going to be here and we just put them on, along the back there and slide the two bolts in and then they're in securely so i'll just show you that now so they just rest up against here like this get them all lined up with the hole which you'll be able to see and you just slide them across one there and one here then we just push these there's two bolts here as well lift those up make sure they're open and there we are outside now i'll quickly show you on this side is a switch and that's for the central heating it's literally just on off um there's no timer on it or anything so it's just a case of remembering to turn it off when you're finished with it on this side there's a key with some floats on it the key will allow you to access anywhere along the canal for example, if you want to fill your water tank up or empty your cassette, then this key will allow you to open up anything along the canal. It just lives here on this hook. On this side is the control panels. We ask if you keep all these exactly as the all these switches. And the same with these ones, they're all in place for where you need them to be. The engine starts with this wide rectangular looking key and it just goes in here like this. You turn it to heat, so one click to the left, hold it there for about 10 seconds so it just warms up a bit. Then you turn it all the way to start and then just let it go and it should be running. If all these red lights are turned off, then that's perfectly fine and that's how it should be. So I'll just show you how that's done now. And there you go, all these lights are off so that's exactly as it should be. When you want to turn the engine off, all you do is you just press the stop button and then you just turn it to off. And there you go, that's the engine turned off. So here we are at the final section of the back of the boat. First of all, there are two gas bottles always on the boat. One of them's full and one of them's currently in use. If you're an out of the one that's in use, you can just change it over to the full one and the spanner that you need for that is also in the cupboard that's just here. Next, here's the tiller, and we ask that every evening, or if you're ever going to go on a trip outside of the boat, we ask for you to take it off because someone else might just take it off for you. So all you do is remove the pin, and it just slides off like that, and then just store it inside the boat anywhere. Now, when it comes to closing the back doors. And then this section here just slides across and 
then we have a lift here, you put that down, but you do provide a padlock, and you just put that in there, and lock it up, and then your boat's done and locked. We do have a key, which is on your bunch of keys, and it's just this smaller silver one, and that unlocks the padlock there for you.